Hello guys and welcome back to a new video! Today's video is going to be about oil painting, which is totally new for me. I have never, never used oil paints before, but I love, I just love the final result you can get by using oil paints, so I wanted to give it a try. I will only mention a few of the most, what can you say, a few of the most important things I used for this oil painting. All the rest of the materials, mater art materials, will be named in the description box. In total, I used three colors in this video: titanium white, Mars black, and Todd gray from 2016, and they are all from Gamblin. For my palette, I used a piece of glass from a cheap frame, and I put some tape on the side so I would not cut myself while holding it. All my brushes are either old acrylic brushes or cheap brushes from my favorite art shop in Denmark or from eBay. I use a solvent called Gamsel to clean my brushes and also thin down the oil colors. I also use a medium called Galcut to speed up the drying time of the oil paint and they are both from Gamblin. Now I lost the first video clip with my underpainting, which is the first layer of paint. Um, and I used the color Torrid Grey to make the underpainting. Now let's talk a little bit about oil painting. I have always loved oil paintings and illustrations, but I, ne I never really liked the fact that it takes so long for each layer to dry. But when I recently started to read and do more research about oil painting, I discovered that you can use mediums like the Galcut medium to speed up the drying time, which is fantastic. So I decided to go ahead and give oil painting a try. I've tried acrylic paint, but I was not a big fan of it. So I decided to. I already owned the color Toad Gray, which I got for free at my local art shop at some point, I think it was back in April, so I bought a white and black so I could test it out without spending too much money on it. Now, one thing I discovered that I really like about oil painting is that you can blend a lot, which is because of the slow drying time the oil paint has. And when using the gel kit, you can still blend a lot because it still takes at least 24 hours for the layer to dry when you're mixing gel kit with your paints. Another good thing about oil paint is that, well at least it's a good thing for me, it is that because of the slow drying time, you get a break from your artwork. This gives you some time to take a step back and look at your artwork to just look at it. This helps me to find or discover any mistakes or maybe remove or add something new um, that would make that would be so much better than my original sketch and idea. I think it is really helpful also with watercolor and any kind of art and probably also with music and other creative things. And sometimes it's a good thing to take a step back and maybe put your project aside and maybe come back later with a fresh and new look at it. Or maybe it's just me. But I really find it helpful and you're forced to do this, this because you have to wait a couple of times for each layer to dry before you can paint on it again. Now let's talk about something I didn't really like about oil painting. I don't like the smell of the mediums and the solvent. You need to remember to have good ventilation when working with oil paint, otherwise you might get a little bit dizzy. I know I got a little bit dizzy the first time when I did my underpainting because I didn't have my window open and I was in a small room, so I got a little bit dizzy. So remember to be in a place with good ventilation or 
open a window if you have one near you. Oh, and another thing. You need to remember to wash your brushes when you're done painting. I forgot doing that with my first layer and one of my brushes, it was just stiff and I couldn't use it. I tried to save it, but no, it didn't work. I use the Gamsol solvent to remove most of the paint when I'm done using um, when I'm done using my paintbrush and done with my painting. And later, when I'm finished um, painting for the day, I take all my brushes and I wash the brushes with a soap that's made for brushes. This helps to get the last of the pigment out of the brushes. And let's talk a little bit about the painting. I knew from the start that I didn't want to make a huge artwork, just something small to start with the first time to test out the oil paint. I used a small piece of watercolor paper with four coats of gesso as my painting surface. Now you could also use a canvas or a piece of wood, but remember to do um, a layer or some layers of gesso as your base. You need a good base for your painting, especially for oil painting. I tried out a lot of techniques using a mix of the Gamsol and the Galkit and some techniques and tricks I've um, discovered through YouTube and books and my research. And some things I tried out were a complete failure and other things were a success. Which is the whole reason why I did this painting. To test out different things and see what I like or did not like before making a big piece of artwork. The motive is Surprise! Another mermaid! I wanted to paint something I knew how to paint, so I would not have to worry about the motive, but just focus on the materials and the techniques I wanted to try. I painted something a little bit similar to my last art video with the Luna mermaid, because I knew her, her hair was going to be black or white, and I, and I got this idea of her hair um, lightening up the room she's in so the water gets light up and the air around her and I don't know, I just think it was a good idea. And overall I really liked the final result and I really liked to work with oil paint which I didn't think I thought I would hate it actually because I've always been scared about the very slow drying time, but as I discovered, I really liked many things about the slow drying time. Like you could, you can blend a lot because it doesn't dry quickly like acrylic paint. And you get a chance to step back and just look at your artwork. So I'm definitely going to try out oil painting again in the future. So I'll definitely buy some more colors very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you liked it.